Hawaii's Kilauea volcano erupts, sending lava 330 feet high from its crater. The north vent in Halama-Uma'u crater began releasing molten rock in its 30-second eruption since December 2024. Hawaii's Kilauea volcano erupted again on Tuesday, sending lava 330 feet 100 meters, into the sky from its summit crater. This is the volcano's 30-second eruption since December 2024, when its current eruption began. So far, all of the lava from this eruption has been contained within the summit crater in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Lava emerged from the north vent in Halema Uma'u crater after midnight. The vent began emitting lava at 6.35 a.m., according to the U.S. Geological Survey. By midday, lava was also erupting from the crater's south vent and a third vent between them. The lower magma chamber beneath Halema Uma'u crater receives magma directly from the Earth's interior at a rate of about five cubic yards 3.8 cubic yards, meters per second, said Ken Hon, scientist in charge at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. This inflates the magma chamber like a balloon and pushes magma into the upper chamber. From there, the magma is pushed up to the surface through fissures. Magma has been using the same path to rise to the surface since December, making the initial eruption and subsequent episodes all part of the same eruption, Han said. Many feature lava shooting high into the air, in some cases more than 300 meters. These fountains form in part because magma, containing gases released as it rises, has flowed to the surface through narrow pipe-like vents. The expanding magma supply is masked by heavier magma that has degassed at the end of the previous eruption. Eventually, enough new magma accumulates to force out the degassed magma, and the magma gushes out like liquid from a shaken champagne bottle before the cork is popped. Kilauea is one of the world's most active volcanoes. This volcano is located on the island of Hawaii, the largest of the Hawaiian archipelago. It is located about 320 kilometers south of the state's largest city, Honolulu, on Oahu. This is the fourth time in 200 years 
that Kilauea has erupted with lava fountains into the air in repeated episodes. There were more episodes the last time Kilauea followed this pattern. The eruption that began in 1983 began with 44 fountaining sessions. However, those eruptions were spread out over three years, and the fountains appeared in remote areas so few people were able to witness them. The other two occurred in 1959 and 1969. Scientists do not yet know how these eruptions will end, or how their patterns might change. In 1983, the magma built up enough pressure that Kalawia opened a vent at a lower elevation and began emitting lava continuously, instead of periodically erupting from higher elevation. This eruption continued in various forms for three decades and only ended in 2018. Something similar could happen again, or the current eruption could even stop at the summit if the magma supply runs out. Scientists can predict days or even weeks in advance when lava is likely to emerge using sensors around the volcano that detect earthquakes and small changes in the angle of the ground indicating when the magma is expanding or contracting. Our job is like a bunch of ants crawling on top of an elephant and trying to figure out how the elephant works, Han said. Recent lava flows have been shorter. Steve Lundblad, a geology professor at the University of Hawaii at Hilo, said the lava vent may be widening, reducing the pressure on the molten rock. We're still going to have a spectacular eruption, he said. It's just going to be wider and not as high as previous eruptions. <laughs> 